Hi everyone. As usual, I'd like to begin by thanking my Patreon patrons for allowing me to upload videos regularly than I would be able to by myself. So if you'd like to help support the channel and help me make more videos, do consider becoming a Patreon patron in the description below or on my channel. Also, I do see your emails and DMs. Just note that I only reply to inquisitive and thoughtful long messages, but if you'd like to profess your love to me, sure. Just, yeah, get a grip, unless you're a hot doctor. So if you're a patron, then you know what this video is about. Um, if you're curious to know how I schedule my videos, it's basically just like every two weeks. Most of it is because of the idea of progress, so since I'm on a diet, I want to see how my body progresses, so I don't want to make videos too like consistent, as in like week to week or something. Also, I don't have the funds to really do that, so yeah. So yeah, um, this video is on Timoteo, Timoteo, and and basically when you purchase Timoteo products, they come in bags like this. If you never bought from them before, this is my first time, so. So a little background on Timoteo is that they're an LA-based designer, but they're not made in LA. And they're also the sister brand of this brand called Cell Block 13 or something. And yeah, I don't really know anything besides that. I just know that Cell Block is, looks like the kind of brand marketed towards very muscly dudes that like to wear harnesses and like fist each other or something. And this is like the otter brand or something. So when I saw these on cheap undies, I was like, sure, I'll get one of each since they're pretty and there's still a lot to choose from. And yeah, they're not a polyester blend. These are cotton and spandex. Let's get to like my shirt. Remember the Sendai Tsunami? And then here it says, Kanbare Nihon. But it's more like Kanbare America. Also, I'm currently wearing these. If I'm repeating shorts, I'm sorry. Just, there's nothing to wear now. I'm also currently wearing these. These old two exist from way back. You can probably find them in the archives. In the package, they look like this. This one has a brief. I also got them all in mediums, so yeah, no more larges for me. That's a mistake. But. Look how vibrant they are. And then I got a thong, which I don't enjoy a lot to wear. It's just one of those like nice when you're bored of your underwear you wear. But yeah, when you have like a dry butthole and hemorrhoids. And then more recently, I enjoy wearing these more because it's just so damn hot in Southern California. But now it's kind of cool again, so I'm not using my fans. And if you've seen the Andrew Christian video where the audio is very loud, yeah. Sorry for that. <laughs> but yeah, now it's cold enough for me to not have to leave the fan on when I go to sleep. Look at this pretty blue jock strap. But yeah, I just really like wearing these with mesh shorts because they're so breezy and I enjoy that breeze a lot. TMI. Material wise, I really enjoy how they look so far. They're really dark and not cheaply thin feeling and flimsy feeling. This totally feels like something... This totally reminds me of my wrist straps. <laughs> Which I haven't used in two months now. Also, this is the Pacific line, by the way. Ugh. First of all, these are very low rise. I feel like they should be a little more higher. I don't know. I don't mind the fit, but I feel like my butt crack is like literally a centimeter away from showing. Okay. How much weight have I lost, you ask? I don't know, like, not like five pounds.
Uh, the freedom of not having that here. So my junk is secure. And yeah, this is the phone. Now even more secure. I actually am pleased with how like thick and strappy this is. If you happen to be like the sa same body shape as me, I do not recommend going a size down because I'm pretty sure you're not going to be able to pull it up. Okay, so to end, um, the briefs feel a little small for me, but it might just be because my butt and my legs just need to be accommodated a little bit more. But otherwise, I'm pretty satisfied with how this came out. The quality is pretty good. The band's up there with like Super Fly or whatever it's called. Um, I personally enjoy the jocks. They're much more enjoyable than Cock Socks and Marco Marco, notably. So as of today, my stay-at-home orders are extended till August. I don't enjoy it, but it's for the greater good. Um, during this time, I'd like to especially thank my Patreon patrons for helping me get through this by making more videos because I don't know what I'd be doing besides studying. So I guess I'll end with a veterinary test question. Um, let me see. I'll give a COVID-related sort of one. Um, which best describes antigenic drift? A virus mutates so that pre-existing antibodies can no longer bind and become useless. Um, vaccines may not be effective when administered to animals that are incubating the disease. A young animal that is immunologically compromised may succumb to illness from a live vaccine or there is no way of knowing what the animal's immune status is unless an antibody titer test is done. And yeah, antigenic drift is basically when the virus mutates so that pre-existing antibodies can no longer bind and becomes useless, which is one of the fears of this current pandemic. So do, wash your hands, take care of yourself, and I'll see you next time.